Today I'm going to properly show you how to set up your section control on a Gen 4 display for your air seeders. The first thing we need to do is make sure we fully unfold the air seeder. Next we are going to make sure we engage our hydraulics for our fan and then come down to our Isobus VT button on the bottom of the menu. Now if we don't have our air cart currently pulled up, we come to the bottom right up arrow, select it, and select our air cart. We need to make sure our clutches are engaged. Once they're engaged, we will hop out of our tractor and go back to the air seater. Now we need to either pull out our phone or our stopwatch and make sure we can record our on and off times. We do this by clicking start on the stopwatch at the same time we hold down the switch to fully engage our meters. As soon as you see a nice consistent flow of product through the seat opener, you need to stop the stopwatch and release the switch. Now we need to record that result which is going to be our on time. Next we need to record our off times. We do this by holding down the switch to fully open our meters and allow the product to flow. Once the product is flowing out to the seat opener, we can start our stopwatch at the same time we release the switch. Now we just need to click stop on the stopwatch as soon as the product stops flowing out the seat opener. You can record this number now as our off time. Now we can go back to the tractor and enter our on and off times for our section control. We will do so in the screen by closing this window and going to the bottom right, selecting menu, going to your applications, scrolling down till we see section control. We need to make sure we turn our master on for our section control. And then also make sure every checkbox is checked for each tank. If they are not checked, the section control will not be engaged for that tank. While we're in here, we also need to double check our overlap settings. Click the pencil to open up the overlap settings. And we can adjust any one of these by clicking on the box. I suggest putting 100% overlap. That is what I run the majority of the time to make sure I don't have any skips. With 75% overlap, uh, and farther down you go, the more you're going to have that little skip here as it kind of shows you in the picture. So you either got to sacrifice overlapping a tish uh, and not skipping as much or having a bigger skip but less overlap. So it's personal preferences, uh, but for my guys, they hate to skip just because then you always get weeds there. So I make sure we put it at 100% overlap. When you are done and you're happy with your settings, click save. And do the same for each tank. I'm going to close out this window, close this window as well, and now we're back to our main run page. I'm going to come down to the bottom left and click setup. And now I'll go under my equipment box and then we can select the air seeder. Once we're in the air seeder, we're going to scroll down. We'll scroll down to our mechanical delays, select our front tank, and we'll enter our on and off times for our front tank. Then click save after you have made sure you have entered the correct numbers that I have already entered. So I'm going to save these. And I will do the same for the middle and the rear tank. If you prefer, you can do an on and off time calibration for your front, middle and rear tank. But I usually suggest just doing the middle tank and then entering that for your front and your rear because that's going to be your happy medium. And you still need to adjust these once you're actually in the field because you're never going to be 100% perfect with that stopwatch. I'm going to do my one pass and then I'm going to come perpendicular into that pass. Therefore, I can test my on and my off time with the section control. Once I have gone over that pass, I will hop out, measure my distances and see if I'm off at all. Select the tank that we want to adjust and go to performance tuning. 
Now I just tell it if I'm skipping or overlapping. I'm gonna say we were skipping one foot at five miles an hour. On my exiting cover, I'm gonna say I'm overlapping a half a foot and I was going five miles as well. So make sure you do keep a consistent speed when you're doing this test. That way it's gonna be more accurate. Once you have done so, clicked OK. And now you can see it pre-tuned my on and my off times. So it's very simple to get the exact times and not have to mess with your times, just nudging by 0 0.01 of a second at a time. Click OK. And if you're happy with these, save them. And now you can see it adjusted my front tank. I will do the same thing for my middle and my rear tank. Once you are done with all your tanks, you click save, click OK, and OK one more time to get us back to our run page. That is how you set up your section control on the Gen 4 display for your air seater.